welcome back to the channel today doing something i don't usually do heading south on a bike ride so this morning heading over to bramley to meet up with Euron, and then yeah we're gonna head south and hit up some of the climbs like that are in between leeds and sheffield and huddersfield and stuff if you're a subscriber to the channel you'll know that i uh, crashed the vitesse uh, on ice the other the other week uh, and snapped the chira tube but yeah uh, i also found out the other day uh, well, I just like kind of sorting it out, ready to get some new forks. Uh, I'd also got a crack in the head tube. So, yeah, looks like that bike is going to be out of action for quite a while while I uh, get it sorted. Uh, so today I'm on the ZX1, which is the uh, the top end aero bike from uh, Van Vitus. Um, yeah, so it's not really made for climbing. So, yeah, the 2,000 plus meters of elevation today might be a little bit of a slog. Yeah, here's the route for today uh, so yeah heading south uh, down towards uh, like Cleck Eaton and Murfield then up uh, Emily Moor uh, over to Yorkshire Sculpture Park and uh, yeah around then round to Penniston Homefirth uh, a little cheeky diversion to go and do Home Moss and then yeah heading back north again I uh, just skirted past Huddersfield and now on the first kind of major climb of the day heading up towards uh, Emily Moore, the, uh, the television tower which is like outside Wakefield plan is to kind of ride this at uh, about sweet spot well just like sub threshold pace yeah start steep um, which we can talk into the camera extremely hard yeah I'm gonna put the camera away and uh, get climbing so yeah, heading all the way up there. So yeah, after you get over the first kind of section, it's kind of rolling to the top. I think it kicks up towards like the last like 400 meters or so. But um, yeah, this is probably one of the easiest climbs of today. <laughs> She's behind me, the uh, lovely Emily Moore television tower. Uh, lovely little climb that. Um, yeah, I think that was um, well, it's about 12 minutes at sweet spot, so about 300 watts for me. Um, yeah, felt good. This route, or the majority of this route, I've kind of done most of it before. So um, yeah, I did it in the, I think it was a Tour de Yorkshire Sportive uh, about five or six years ago. Um, and from what I remember, it was just, up and down all day first climb done now on to the next one all right that's climb two in the bank another eight minutes or so at a sweet spot so yeah another 300 watts or so yeah now for another descent <laughs> Just dropped down into Peniston. Uh, yeah, it was kind of three back-to-back -back climbs, which a bit was uh, a bit unrelenting. And so yeah, we were on our first kind of bit of flat. I say flat, it's still about two, three percent. So yeah, we're still having to work. But yeah, we're gonna we're knocking off the pace a little bit because we've uh, been hitting it hard for the first kind of two hours. And uh, yeah, we've still got Home Moss, which is kind of looming in the distance. Home Moss. Uh, the actual climb really kind of starts in, uh, in Homeworth, but like, the proper meat of the climb starts about 5k out from the top, and from there it's about 7% uh, gradient. And then, yeah, the last kind of 2.25k or so, uh, that's when it gets a little bit steeper, and that averages about 10% for that last 2.5k. 
uh, a very exposed climb for the wind it's probably going to take yeah take it out of us today uh, but Ewan off camera has just said the last time he did this he wasn't very fit and so if he doesn't beat his time he's going to be very disappointed and so am I as his coach so yeah go on Ewan how are you feeling? leggy leggy I wasn't totally unfit last time but I'm definitely a lot fitter but depends how the wind is up there to be honest if there's anything like that last section then uh, it's going to be hard work so that's the appetizer dispatched here in about eight minutes eight nine minutes uh now for the main course all the way up there to the top of that where that mast is yeah what probably another 12 15 minutes of climbing ewan's flown up the climb yeah it doesn't take much to uh get him to uh lay down some power and uh challenge himself which is good to see yeah i can just see him up there <sighs> giving it full beans. So how do you do? Like 19 minutes odd, but a minute or two off my PB, but yeah, still feel like pretty good about it, like good numbers, so yeah, solid. All right, made it to the summit. And for me, that was 25 minutes at 304 watts. Uh, yeah, that was a bit, yeah, there's a bit of a headwind. How many more is just down there, just over there? It looks, it looks tiny compared to where, to this climb. But yeah, earlier it felt like an absolute mountain. But um, yeah, it's actually <laughs> not that big. All right, I think it's time to get off the top of this. It's absolutely freezing. Yeah. And go and get ourselves a coffee. <laughs> Yeah, we stopped for coffee and some food uh, in Homefirth and then uh, yeah we've done two two or three more climbs since then each of about eight to ten minutes long uh, just stopped at Sainsbury's here to get some uh, some more drink um, yeah suffering definitely suffering um, yeah what we've we done so far about 105k in uh, four hours 36 normalized power 272 um, what we've we done how much climbing we've we done so yeah, 2,174 meters of climbing. Uh, probably got another two, 300 meters to go to home. Ended up being 120 kilometers. Um, yeah, 2,500 meters of elevation. Yeah, it took us about five hours and 10 minutes or so. Yeah, it was about five or six proper climbs. And then, yeah, there was, to be honest, there was no flat all day. Yeah, first time up home moss, um, yeah. Brutal climb, um, but it's not as hard as I thought it was going to be. Um, yeah, it's quite yeah quite easy to get into a rhythm um, and just kind of tap your way to the top. Though it does get a little bit steep towards the towards the end when you when you are suffering. So it's the first time kind of uh, taking the ZX1 on a more hilly kind of uh, route, and yeah, uh, I was quite surprised. I thought it was going to be a bit of a chore, kind of like um, climbing up some of those hills. Uh, but yeah, it wasn't too bad at all. So looking forward to uh, actually riding that a little bit more over the next uh, few weeks and stuff while the Vitesse is out of action. Uh, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>